The theme on that pinball machine is a standard royalist theme, used on everything from pinball cabinets to full flavor cigarettes, clinging to a picture book version of the past century, waiting for the king to come back and cast out all the profiteers and homosexuals. Basically, imagine a yellow plastic crown with a liquor brand emblazoned on it. It comes free with a six pack of Vermilion Roy d'Or. The words Roy d'Or are stamped into the crown's plastic. The sentiment is called anti-centennial nostalgia, pining for a time before the turn of the century. It's common even now, after 50 years. Hello, sweetie. Wait, who's sweetie? Why, you are, officer. And have you found anyone to be sweet to? You rascal. <laughs> I'm too old for you, and too married besides. You must forgive me. I'm getting so scatterbrained. I completely forgot to introduce myself. I'm Lena. My husband Morel and I are staying with our friend Gary just down the street, but I come here for tea when they're away. This Lena is wacky enough for the Motley crew. Hire her on the spot. Yes, dear. Uh, I'm a paraplegic. A paraplegic is someone with limited or no ability to use the lower half of their body. Paraplegia is caused by spinal cord injuries, like falling from a great height, or a grenade explosion. That's quite all right. I'm used to people asking questions. I know they're thinking about it anyway. Oh, oh, I'm perfectly all right. I'm more worried about you. What was that? Don't beat yourself up over it too much, dear. People do strange things when the old fight or flight kicks in. I'm just glad you weren't injured. Of course, dear. Good luck with your case. Yes? What do you want to know? Maybe you can tell me what you do know to help me narrow it down a bit. Then you are not that far behind, actually. Do you want me to brief you? Three days ago, the RCM emergencies desk received a report about a security guard who was found hanged in Martinez. An anonymous caller said there was a dead body behind the Whirling and Rags Hostel cafeteria. The cadaver had been there for four days. No one had come to investigate. During that time, the victim had been stripped of his belongings. The caller did not identify him, but used the word lynching. There is an ongoing labor dispute between the local dock workers and the logistics company Wild Pines. I was told we should approach the death as part of this dispute. A security guard or worker of some sort hired by Wild Pines. This was just hearsay for Martinez, of course. We need to find out the truth. They didn't identify themselves in any way. The tone was muffled using a device of some sort. The desk could identify neither the caller's age nor sex. There is a strong prejudice against involving the RCM in what's seen as union matters. The Dock Workers' Union is the de facto police in Martinez. Now it appears they've started executing too. We cannot allow that. That's us. The Revachol Citizens Militia. We're the police in this city. The RCM, or the Revachol Citizens Militia, is the police force you and him are part of. A self-organized peace corps of the occupied city of Revachol. The RCM operates within a legal twilight, yet its authority is rarely questioned. It's super useful to know this. That's right. No, it's not a particularly mysterious case. The deceased is a security guard for a corporation involved in a labor dispute. It doesn't take a DeLorean polymath to put the pieces together. I just don't see the case getting more mysterious than that. There was some interest in this case at my station, but not for the reasons you have in mind. You seem to wish there was a... Good point. 
Martinez is famed for its occult sex murder rites. We'll get on it immediately. The wary tone is the surest indicator that the lieutenant is being sarcastic. No, not really. Was there anything else? It can still be an otherworldly sex mystery in your head. With a dark twist, even. He's basically challenging you to sex it up with some lurid twist. Don't get right into it. Sit on it a bit. Then, hit him with it. I'm afraid you and I are pawns in a, a pissing competition. You don't know? I assumed you were in on it. That's good. Better still than an imbecilic cup of. It's just stupidity. We shouldn't waste any more time on it. If you want my take, ask me after we've inspected the victim. Was there anything else you wanted to know about the case? Good. No response. He just arches his brow. He's having trouble processing it, believing it even. Have you tried concentrating on something other than your personal affairs? Fine. We should get through this day first. Off hours begin at 9 p.m. If you're still having trouble then, I can give you an orientation. Really? You look fine to me. This psychodrama is unbecoming of an officer. Clearly, he prefers to think you're malingering. He cannot fathom that anyone could drink so much as to retroactively erase their entire life. Then you should consider seeking medical attention. You can use the radio in my kinema to call your station's Lazarus. Was there anything else you wanted? Me? I don't see how my life is pertinent to the investigation. Hmm, that's a fair point. All right, for the good of the investigation, what do you want to know? That's correct. You feel a slight urge to put the lieutenant down for this, but you can't quite muster enough testosterone. I guess you don't need glasses, then. That's because I'm half Seolite, or Qua- It's a part of the world, officer. A geopolitical entity, and a geographic division. I told you it wouldn't be interesting. Seol is a protectionist, isolationist, pan isolary state west of the Insulindian Isola. Actually, it's quite interesting. Some would even say mysterious. You're barking up the wrong tree. I don't speak a word of Seolite. I've never met either one of my grandparents, and I've never been to Seol. I'm a regular Rebachelier. A point of pride to him. No. Your brain sends the signal to your lips, but they refuse the order. Something is paralyzing them. You're pretty sure it has something to do with the lieutenant's eyebrow. It's like you're locked down. Something the matter, detective? What's going on? It's like you're a puppet in his hands. The lieutenant relaxes his eyebrow, and you seem to regain control of yourself. What do you mean? I have no idea what you're talking about. The lieutenant's conceptualization skills must be rather rudimentary. I can't say that it does, no. When I need to think, I just use my notebook. The lieutenant produces his small blue notebook and idly thumbs through a few pages. We all have our different mediums. His is written. Good. Let's change the subject. Excuse me? You have a... a distinctive way of walking. If I were to walk in front of you, we would surely collide. I hope you don't take this the wrong way, 
it's just a collegial observation. In the 57th, we call it the Jamrock Shuffle. Officers from Jamrock's 41st precinct tend to move a bit erratically. They say it's a scene-clearing technique developed by one of your lieutenants for gathering evidence. It's erratic, yet thorough. Prioritizes containers. Yes, but containers contain things, shiny things. They're interesting. I am sure you don't. It's just a stupid interdepartmental thing. I'm making assumptions. We should move on. The RCM in Martinez. What can I help you with? We don't see a lot of police around here, that's all. Of course. What can I help you with? Excuse me? Oh, well, I didn't write it there. I'm just sitting here. I don't know anything about that either. As I said, I didn't write it. Pig is a widely used term for members of the police. It's not loving. No need to worry, we are not saying you did. Okay. Well, I didn't. Since the street signs messed up? Okay. What do you need? Oh, that. That's right there, in the yard. Even all the way over here. There's a drop of death in the spring air. What do you mean? Yes, sir. District of Martinez. This intersection is called Roundabout North. He knows where we are. He just wants directions. There's the pier, the Cape Side apartment buildings, some more tenements, not a lot really. The harbor gates, some kind of commotion, I think. I don't follow the local politics. A fleet store too. Some shops and a bridge. The canal bridge leads to the coast, but it's broken, I think. Some kind of accident probably. Just coast. There's a little fishing village there and a fish market. But that got closed down ages ago. It's just water. No, actually, I think they call it the Martinez Inlet. There are some islands in the bay, but they're hard to reach. No problem. She's very well composed. Back straight. Me? I am just a gardener. She hides it well, but behind the sweat and dirt there is something else in her rigid posture. I am pleased to meet you too, officer. Of course, I won't hold you back. If there's a corpse, then you're going to need those gloves for the autopsy. Sure, keep them. I have another pair. <laughs> 